So if I saw this movie yesterday, does this make today the day after Tomorrowland? Roland Emmerich joke. Ugh, such a horrible joke. So to put Tomorrowland in the simplest of terms, it's about this teenage girl played by Britt Robertson that wants to go to Tomorrowland. And it's directed by Brad Bird, who has a perfect record at this point. He made three killer animation movies and then the best Mission Impossible film in the entire franchise. This guy has my attention. It was one of my most anticipated movies of the entire year, and it's the most disappointing movie of the entire year as well. What the hell happened? This movie should have been awesome! Okay, 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 I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start with the positives. This movie starts out pretty awesome. You learn something about George Clooney's character and you see Tomorrowland. It's a great way to start the movie and you see the imagination of Brad Bird on display. And the film also has two killer performances. I didn't think I was going to buy George Clooney as this old pissed off guy because you know he's George Clooney. He's just got that charm to him. And I bought him as this old grumpy guy. He put that Clooney charm away and gave a really good performance. He had a really good character and I honestly want the film to be about him. His story was a lot better than the story of Bird Robertson to be honest. And then this little girl Raffi Cassidy? Oh my god. Child actors are the worst, that's a fact, but this girl gives a breakout performance. She handled the emotional scenes really well and had good chemistry with George Clooney and Britt Robertson. And my favorite moment of this entire movie was this action sequence in George Clooney's house. The Clune and Britt Robertson are getting attacked by these robots and the whole house has booby traps and the way that they get rid of the robots is really cool. And the film as a whole has some really clever ideas. I love that aspect of the movie. Movie. But now it's on to the negatives. Last year we got a movie called Godzilla with barely any Godzilla. There was also a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie with barely any turtles. For a film called Tomorrowland, there is barely any Tomorrowland. This whole marketing campaign was one big bait and switch. There's only like three minutes of Tomorrowland. And I guess this movie was trying to be a it's about the journey not the destination type of thing which isn't really a good idea in my opinion for a movie called Tomorrowland. But that could have worked. But to be honest with you, the whole setup and journey to Tomorrowland is kind of boring. The film starts out, you see Tomorrowland. That image is now in your head. And so for the rest of the movie, you're like, man, I cannot wait to get back to Tomorrowland. Okay, we're not in Tomorrowland yet. Okay, with the journey, okay, we're still not at Tomorrowland. Are, are we gonna get there? It's just not that interesting. And the dialogue is so clunky and repetitive. And then after all that boring setup, you finally get to Tomorrowland, and the payoff is so weak. I waited two-thirds of the movie for this. And besides from that, Britt Robertson's character is so horribly written. She doesn't really have a personality to her, and she's just a bystander as all these things are happening, and she's her main character. They keep telling me that she's special, she's smart, she's gonna be the one, but... I never see any reason to believe that. You say that that character is special. Why? You don't show it. She never does anything for herself. She gets saved by everyone in the movie. She's not a strong character. And the consensus complaint about this movie is the last 20 minutes. It's just horrible. To be honest, at that point, I had already checked out. But while we're on the topic, yeah, it's a pretty weak climax. I can't really get into specifics about what happened. But how things came together in the end is really, really lame. Plain and simple. Tomorrowland just doesn't live up to its potential. It has this incredible idea for a fantastic movie, but it just has boring setup and a weak climax. The effects are good, you get some solid performances, and there are some awesome moments in the film, but just not enough to save it. Maybe I'm being too cynical, but this movie was just such a letdown. I'll give it 1.9 out of 5 reels. What did you guys think of Tomorrowland? Make sure to comment below, hit that subscribe button, hit me up on Twitter at my website, brendanhasablog.wordpress.com. Thank you very much for watching. Till next time, I'm Brendan Weissman. Peace!